Good day again. This is my second video for today and another question from our subscriber. This is from Mr. Iyagala BJ. Um, Mr. VJ is asking, oh uh, wait, he wants to introduce himself first. He said he's, a, he's also l working as a lighting designer and he's from India. Okay, Sahe, VJ. <laughs> and now he's asking for, um, wait, he said he learned a lot of things in my videos. Thank you, Mr. VJ. Make sure that um, what you learned, you double check okay S because don't just rely on my opinion or, or on how I um, teach you but also double check it alright because you need to learn a lot of things as a lighting designer and that's just using the software and just putting the luminaire okay um, his questions are there are three um, one is how can we rename the created rooms okay um, we want to call the created walls so you want to put a color on your walls okay that's I created one video for that I think and um, regarding the maintenance factor I think I also created one video regarding that I will send you the links and for the first one how to rename the created rooms that is um, the one I can answer right now um, okay I will answer all of these three it's easy alright so let's start okay Mr. Vijay, let's use this project as a sample to answer your questions. First question is how we can rename the created rooms. Okay, I have how many? Three rooms here. I would like to suggest to go to this um, tab, the story, and then to the construction tab and select the assessment zones. Yeah, so your rooms will, should be green and then select one for example this one so if it's purple or blue it's highlighted if it's green it's not okay so for example this one now you can see that it says actually here now i label it properly open office meeting room and server room so you should be on the assessment zone tab and in the story or maybe in the floor plan or in the plan view like this so it's okay it depends on you and then go and rename it here if you can see I name it server room for example I will rename it as room for server okay so now it is labeled and if you want to rename also your work complaint because once you generated the, the result um, you can also identify the calculation planes or working planes with the name so you can easily identify those working planes what are those for example in this open office I have the I have this um, boss office and then small meeting room and then this open office so if I want to place um, different calculation points or different um, calculation surfaces then I can rename it and uh, by that you can just cop uh, on how to do that is here <laughs> so long story you can rename your working plane as that's um, right now I selected the server room so I can rename it as server room okay and for this one I already named as meeting room so let's copy it and paste and here also open office control C and then control V so now I label the rooms at the same time the working planes of the rooms later I will show you what is the effect of that um, okay I will show it to you now because we will recalculate it once we touch the wall so if we go here um, you can see that um, summary so you can see in the summary that the room is labeled properly and also the working plane is properly labeled you can see here so if it's not properly labeled you can just say this is calculation surface but since we label it properly then you can see you can read now server room alright so what's your next question um, 
regarding the maintenance factor let's go and proceed with the maintenance factor first so again you should be in the assessment zone and you can see here the fixed light loss factor or maintenance factor um, the client our client wants 0.67 so I created 0.67 but mostly if it's indoor we used um, 0.8 if it's outdoor then 0.7 or 0.75 it depends if it's road then it's point, um, 0.67 so it depends if it's clean room um, yeah you can make it 0.8 also if it's sometimes they just make it 0.8 so it depends on the maintenance factor some of the consultant requires uh, different maintenance factors so you should follow that one okay so for example in uh, open office i said 0.67 for the meeting room same 0.67 but if i want to make it 0.8 then it's okay so you will the result will become different now so let's discard and if you want the server room as 0.8 also then you can do it okay you just have to type it here and then your last question is how to create or a co you want to color the walls so it's easy just go to the um, go uh, just go to the material tab and then select your color either you can create your color texture materials for example you want a wood plank here and then you want your wood plank in the wall so once you created a texture material then you can apply it here like that or you can increase it by manual like this or here yeah so the next thing is by selecting it in the catalogs from Dialux Evo there are less of here so you can go indoor if it's for indoor wall and say select the wall and there will have for example concrete tiles wood plaster other wallpaper and brick so for example we go for um, plaster so we have plasters here like that just apply first select and apply and then close this one and now it will go directly here and then you just maybe you can go to the server room and apply it to the server room if you want to um, continuously apply it press the control key and then apply now I'm pressing the control now and then one two three four or just run it like one drug but if you drag it in one shot it will affect also the other walls so better make it one by one all right so um, yeah if you have more questions Vijay just send me an email and I will answer to you okay bye